Hey everybody, Christopher Odd here. Welcome back to Mass Effect Commander, 2. You received a new message at your private terminal. Okay, Kelly. Well, thanks. Uh, let's do the private messages, and we're gonna go talk to a couple of people, and then we're gonna head out. Oh wow. Okay. Uh, Alcos mail routing. Adrell lay in the ocean, dying from Keprel syndrome, and had a dream. In his dream, the Enkindlers came to him and charted the course of his life. The Drell saw the wakes and eddies, and saw that sometimes the Enkindlers swam alongside him. Limbs raking the water, while other times he was alone. The Drell saw that the times he was alone were the hardest times in his life. He asked the Enkindlers, why was this one abandoned? The Enkindlers answered, their light shining brightly. You were never abandoned. In those difficult times in your life, it was our bodies that bore you through the water. The Drell awoke and found his Keprel syndrome cured. If you follow the light of the Enkindlers, it can happen to you. Where the Enkindlers go, we shall follow, and where their light is the sun, we shall be the stars around them. Send this message to six beings of your acquaintance, and your greatest wish shall come true. It's spam! God damn it. Okay, Keepers from Chorbin. I hope this address still works. I promise to send you intel on the Keepers if I found anything, and this is important. See those scans you took? It turns out the Keepers are bioengineered, and based on my comparisons to some of the material from Saren's flagship Sovereign, they were engineered millions of years ago by the same people who made Sovereign. You may not understand how important this is, but it suggests that the Citadel wasn't really made by the Protheans. It may have been made by something far older with the Keepers as organic guardians. And what's more, based on my genetic readings, they're supposed to react to something, some signal or something, about every 50,000 years. You can measure genetic variances. It's a bit like comparing rings on a tree to see through... Uh, to see the drought years. Whoever did this, well around the last time the signal went off, would be around the time the Protheans disappeared, because that was about 50,000 years ago. And it's scheduled to go off sometime around now. If any of the old tech still works, they could have some nasty surprises waiting for us. Just thought you'd want to know. Nobody here in the Citadel will listen to me. That's actually a little bit concerning. Uh, this is from Shaman Erdnot. Damn it, I hate these things, but you need to hear this. You're part of Grunt's Krant, and you're his leader, so keep him alive. Here I have to stay polite, play the role. But our people are dying. Krogan have always valued survival over tradition. If we're going to survive as a people, we need your vat-grown Grunt. Okir was a madman, but he was a madman with a plan, and that's more than most have on this ball of rock. So bring him back from your damn mission. My people need him. And if you get it and if you all get killed, I'll piss on your graves. Yeah, that's yeah, he's a Krogan. Okay, from Oriana Lawson. Okay. I hope this is the right Commander Shepard. I'm Oriana. My sister only told me a little, but I don't think it occurred to her that I'm as smart as she is. I poked around a little and found an information broker who got me this address. I got to thank her, but I never got to thank you for helping me. My parents don't really understand it, but I know how much Miranda did. How many little things over the years were her looking out for me. I'm not going to tell them. I still want to go to school and get some degrees, but I wanted you to know that I know you saved me. I had a guardian angel all these years. I don't know if my sister has anybody. She said that she's working for you, and it was pretty clear that you were doing something dangerous. Make sure she comes back alive, okay? P.S. Don't tell her I sent this. It would just make her angry. P.P.S. Miranda, quit looking at Shepard's messages. Oh, don't act like you don't. It's what I do. <laughs> okay. Oriana, so very similar to uh, to her sister, obviously. Okay, let's touch base with Morden. See how he's doing. Actually, let's let's do our upgrades if we can. We do some machine gun damage. We can do nothing there. Nothing there. Can do Krogan Vitality, though. Let's do it. Still hard to believe Malin betrayed me. Betrayed my work. Disgusted by his actions. Proud of his nerve, though. Always thought he lacked backbone. Hope he finds something new. Better goal, better purpose. Fewer torture tests. Fewer, t yeah. Well, that's good. You're really at peace with what happened? Yes, of course. Can't change what happened. Life continues. Back to mission, back to work. Become like Malin otherwise. Solarian emotional processing faster than other species. Has to be. Short-lived culture can't spend time reminiscing. So you really don't feel bad at all about what happened on Tachanka? Yes, correct. Now at least. Greatly distressed at the time. Stages of grief, loss, anger, rationalization. Dealt with it. Most issues settled <laughs> on Tachanka, some on shuttle uh, back to Normandy. Dealt with it. Malin didn't seem like he processed his emotional response. He was obsessed with the genophage. True. Didn't mean to imply that Salarians were healthier emotionally, can still make wrong choices, bad decisions from grief, anger, guilt. 
Malin couldn't accept feelings. Made decision, executed. Probably before I left for Omega. Wish I'd seen it. Solarian still feel, just resolve it quickly. Explains lack of marriage, can't sustain courtship emotions. Or perhaps based on reproduction. Unsure. What about Malin's data on the genophage? His attempts at a cure? What about it? Have it over there somewhere. Not dealing with it now. Need to focus on collectors. Not important now, regardless. Appreciate you helping me back on Tuchanka. Should get back to work. Wasted enough time already. Lost well, we did time. We did make the conscious effort to bring it here, so I imagine that at some point, that'll come up to help us, or maybe he'll cure the genophage. Who knows? Commander. I'm more interested in just... I'm good, Shepard. Ready for... We'll talk later. Commander. Yeah, he rarely has anything. Uh, I guess the other person I could talk to would be Grunt. Because we took care of his situation there as well. But I'm also going to see how these two are doing. It's funny. Edie's very, like... We don't see her very much. But, um... I guess, I know, she pipes in once in a while in the comms, but... Commander. I assume everything is going well up here? Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Actually, I do want to ask him... About... Commander. So, how do you think we're doing? Well, the Normandy's not as ready as she could be. There's always more we could What do you upgrade. think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with Here last. We go. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. Uh... What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. That's it for okay, now. Okay, that's, that's broken. I was kind of interested to hear more about what he thought about Grunt, but it's all good. Speaking of, let's go and touch base with him. I don't think the others really have much to say after the after these uh, specialty missions. No for you, Commander. We'll see if uh, Miranda has anything, but my guess is no. And Garrus, I'm pretty much writing him off as Commander. perpetually Commander calibrating. Do you have a minute, Miranda? Of course. Oh, I've been really? To speak with you, in fact. Okay, good. What's up? I wanted to apologize. I didn't fully believe you'd be up to the task, and it seems I was wrong. Frankly, based on what I've seen, I wish Cerberus had recruited you earlier. I trust you, but I don't trust Cerberus. Your experiments crossed a line. All the time, yes. But I recall a Spectre who crossed a few lines while hunting down Saren and the Geth, and we'd be lucky to have you. Too many join us out of simple xenophobia. We need more people here for the right reasons. What was Cerberus trying to prove by experimenting on children like Jack? A mistake, no question. Not mine. And one that was corrected once we discovered the extent of the experiments being performed. I saw your faces years ago. You were using Rachni, Thorian creepers, even husks to make your own army. The husks were already dead. The Thorian creatures were mindless and the Rachni were abandoned once we understood their intelligence. We weren't breeding an army, we were breeding expendable shock troops for high-risk scenarios. How many soldiers died in Saren's attack on Eden Prime? How many would have lived if we'd had just a dozen Rachni soldiers on our side? With your intelligence, you could have landed any job you wanted. Why choose this? Because I still envy the time Morden spent with the Special Tasks group, working with people as smart as he was. Cerberus never tells me that something is impossible. They give me my resources and say do it. And they've given you even more. A new life, a new ship, the elusive man's personal attention. The best thing he did was to put you on my squad. You'd have done fine without me. I may not have believed it before, but I don't have what you do. That fire that makes someone willing to follow you into hell itself. My father got me the best jeans money could buy. Guess it wasn't enough. I wonder if she's like... I... I think that she feels some anim like she obviously feels animosity towards her father, but she has like this inner self doubt because she was a test tube. I think you always bring up your genetic tailoring. Yeah, it really bothers you, doesn't it? This is what I am, Shepard. I can't hide it. The intelligence, the looks, even the biotics. He paid for all of that. 
Every one of your accomplishments is due to your skill. The only things I can take credit for are my mistakes. I can't admire your body or your mind. Uh-oh. You give your father too much credit. We got that smile yeah, going. He gave you gifts. But you can be proud of what you've done with them. Oh. Thank you. Perhaps I wouldn't mind if you admired my body. You wouldn't, huh? I think I could live with it. Uh-oh. It's only fair. You've had two years to look at me. And I was wearing less than you are. Shepard, wait. I, I need to think about this. Scared, Ms. Lawson? Cautious, Commander Shepard. But interested. Very interested. Yeah, yeah, we're... For now, I should work and think. I'll talk um, to you later. Tone a fine line here again. God, we gotta get Liera back. Because there are way too many goddamn temptations on this ship. And things are getting out of hand. And quickly. Hey, Shepard. This one security guy keeps staring at me. I think his name is Bert. I'm used to being watched by security. But they're usually yeah, she's on, she's on repeat, unfortunately. I might have to start cloaking through the CIC from now on. Shepard, is there time to visit the city? Not yet. I shall return to my meditations. I love his voice. It's like, it almost sounds computerized, but it's not. Okay, you guys aren't going to say much. Probably, these guys will probably have updates when, uh, after, like, some of the main things. I hope we can go to I'll think about that. Oh, yeah, she oh, needs to, like, kill her daughter. That's just super dandy. Okay, engineering, we're gonna talk to, uh, well, we'll touch base with all of them, just in case. But specifically... Back for another lesson. I've done a lot of crazy things, but I never tried to take on a thresher more on foot before. Standard operating procedure when you get a thresher more is run the hell away. Pick up sticks, move the hell out. Krogan don't know any better, I guess. <laughs> Still, All right, that's cool. New smoke, Shepard. Don't. That stuff will kill you. Your kid once. Weapons dealer. Probably half your age. Bastard smoked too close to a cache of explosives. <laughs> Dust the butt. Blew himself. Oh, uh, yeah, around. that's how it'll kill you. For sure. Good one. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. That's his polite way of saying, uh, just leave me alone for now. All right, Grunt. Erd not Grunt. I like it. I have a clan. That makes me... It makes me want to fight, not just able to. I'm proud of you. At Uvink, I wanted to disembowel him, to tear out his spine like a trophy. <laughs> we started this because you were losing control. Now you sound more violent than ever. Rex said I was normal. Just had this built-up stuff because of being grown in the tank. Now that I know it's not an outside thing, and I have a place as a Krogan, I like it. All right. Our enemies are in trouble, Shepard, and we better not run out of targets. I'm not planning on living like this forever, Grunt. Talk like that, and it won't be your choice. I'm sure as hell not quitting with a whimper. Just so you're clear where we stand. <laughs> oh, I like him so much. He's just, he's badass, and he's trying to, like, be all... Alpha male, but honestly, no. We what the hell is going on here? There we go. Oh, Jackie, she probably hates people call her that. I need to get to Pragya, Shepard, soon. Remind me what you wanted me to do. I need your help to face All my All right. She wants to like blow up the facility or something. She wants to get back at all the Cerberus people. I don't know how. Like, if Cerberus is going to be involved in that, because I'm sure that's going to come and b give us some backlash. Shepard, what Have you got I time do? to talk? I really need to clean up this engine. I'll let you work. Maybe talk to you later. Alright. Okay, so, the last thing that we want to do is head up to our personal quarters. I believe I bought some fish. So, those should be... 
Look at this. Look at this. That's awesome. I'll feed them since I'm up here. Hopefully I can't overfeed these and kill them again. Uh, but I came up here specifically to check out some of the armor. So, no. The visor is the death mask I wanted. Negotiate, increases negotiation bonus by 10% and it looks awesome. Uh, the Aegis Vest, Shield Harness. Let's go with the Shield Harness. Shoulder Guards. We can go Power Damage or Health. I'm going to go with Health. Spare Ammo Capacity. Yes, please. We kind of need that to stay. Um, let's see. What else do we have? Greaves or Stimulator Conduits. Storm speed by 10%. Okay, we're good. Let's change it up a little bit. And now it's time to go and help somebody. So let's head down to the CIC. Uh, who do we have left? We have Jack. And... Thane. Samara. Okay. And Kasumi. You know, let's go and help. Let's go help Kasumi. Travel to Beckenstein. And just as a refresher on what we're doing, Master Thief Kasumi Goto has a problem. A ruthless arms dealer named Donovan Hawk killed her partner, Keiji Okuda, and stole Okuda's gray box, a neural implant that stores memories and information. Kasumi has planned a daring heist to recover Okuda's gray box and has asked for help in pulling it off. Once this is done, Kasumi can dedicate all her attention to completing Shepard's mission. So we're doing a heist, it sounds like. I don't know how we're going to pull that off, but we're going to make it happen. Okay. Oh, K Kasumi's hidden here on Nebula, so let's go here. Okay, let's just land. So, we are getting to the point where uh, we're going to have to do the mineral scanning pretty soon. But, uh, it's to be honest, it's not really something I'm looking forward to. Even if it's something I do uh, that I don't record, or I just record it without saying anything, and then put the codex over top of it. It's uh, It seems like it's going to be a really long process. Which is, like, it's not crazy exciting, obviously. Uh, Kasumi's obviously coming, but let's go into Overload. For me... Hmm. I think we're gonna save it. You clean up well, Mr. Solomon Gunn. Hawk won't know what hit him. I assume Solomon Gunn is my cover? You run a small but talented band of mercs out in the Terminus systems. Precisely the type of person Hawk respects. I took the liberty of giving you a reputation. Papers, witnesses, article in Badass Weekly. Wow, she's Just thorough. Just don't start talking business with him, and you'll be fine. Remind me, what kind of man are we dealing with? Hawk's a weapons dealer and smuggler. He killed my partner and stole his gray box. Other than that, he's not so bad. Rich, charismatic. Willing to crack open a man's skull to get at the neural implants inside. I take it I'm wearing this getup for a reason. You'd look really out of place at a society party in armor, don't you think? You look great. You should wear this stuff more often. Now's probably a good time to fill me in on the details. You have been waiting patiently. Our friend Hawk is throwing a party for his closest friends. A couple dozen of the worst liars, cheaters, and mass murderers you'll ever want to meet. All bringing gifts as a tribute to the man himself. Mm -hmm. 
Our tribute is a lovely statue of your old friend Saren. Very nice. With loving detail and filled to the brim with our weapons and armor. Huh. You can keep your pistol as long as it's concealed. They won't hassle you over a sidearm. Once inside, we'll make our way to Hawk's vault door, somewhere in the back of the ballroom. Then, we case the security and start peeling away the layers. The statue should be there, waiting for you to crack it open and arm up. Trojan horse. I like it. Then we just waltz into the vault and take back KG's gray box. And I'll finally get a chance to say goodbye. You've worked really hard on this. KG must have meant a lot to you. Was I that obvious? KG's gray box holds a lot of priceless personal memories. It's all that remains of who he was. But the secret he discovered is dangerous. I wouldn't bring you here if it wasn't. What's in the gray box that makes it worth all this trouble? The gray box holds KG's memories. Everything from all the codes and plans he stole to... All the time we spent together. Wrapped up in those memories is the secret he stole. KG never told me what it was. But the information got him killed. This ought to be interesting. That's what I'm going for. Pretty sure it won't disappoint. This is our stop. No, oh, and there's our gift just on time. After you, Mr. Gunn. Oh, call me Solomon. Uh, just one moment, sir. There seems to be an issue with the statue. Is there a problem here? No, Mr. Huck. Just doing a scan. I don't believe we've met Donovan Hawk. I've heard a lot about you. Name's Solomon Gunn. And though I've heard a lot about you, you've been very busy lately, if the extra net is to be believed. Sir, the scanners aren't picking anything up. Hmm. I don't think our guests would come all the way here from Ilium just to cause trouble. Do you? I think that guy's You may pass through, Mr. Gunn. With my apologies, but I will ask your companion to remain outside. You understand, I hope. What? Care to explain why my friend has to stand outside? I don't like the look of your friend, so she stays outside. Wow. Simple as that. No problem. You're the host. Enjoy the party. That changes things. Well, that didn't go as I expected. Any idea why he'd send you away? No. We've never seen each other in person. And no one knows what I look like. Just watching his ass, I'm sure. I can't blame him. What do we do now? We go on with the plan. You'll just have to do all the talking. I'll stay out of sight and stick with you the best I can. So she said we'll I had to get to, like, the back. In case something goes wrong. We need to find the door and case the security. We'll figure out the next step then. <laughs> 